<laughs> Three years ago, 52% of the country voted to take back control. Now, now 99% of the country has no say over who the next Prime Minister is going to be. And amongst... Here's the weird thing this week, though. Of all the MPs voting with their ballots, there were two spoilt ballots and one rejected ballot. Yeah, Boris okay. spilt red wine on his. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I love, though. The 1922 committee, who were in charge of all the ballots, uh, were quoted as saying, there were no penises drawn. Why would you need to say that? Why would you need to... Oh, there were penises drawn. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that they've gone, yeah, there were some bollocks, there were some tits and there was an arse, but there was no penis <laughs> in the but how do you, I don't know how they would have spoiled the ballot. Why you would you spoil it? It's not like they're going to pick another candidate, or is it? Uh, Exene asked, is it OK that if the choice is Hunt or Bojo, we need Mike the cameraman now more than ever? <laughs> This has been an ongoing thing. It started about four weeks ago when we showed a whole bunch of candidates to our audience and said, who do you think is running? And our audience thought Mike, the cameraman, might actually be running. Now, we know there are two spoilt ballots. We don't know what's on them. Unless anyone tells us otherwise, we're assuming Mike has already got two votes this week. <laughs> From what I've heard around Parliament, there is a bit of mike Mentum building. <laughs> and look, Mike might not have made the final two, but that doesn't mean Tory members can't vote for him. If, if you're a Tory member and you're watching the show uh, and you're going to vote over the next few weeks, put Mike's name on the ballot paper. If you don't like the two that you've got, put his name on the, uh, on the ballot paper. Do Why it. not? You, you, it, it might count. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, we've made a campaign with Mike uh, and we're going to reveal it at the end of the show. Uh, it's his new and improved campaign aimed specifically at Tory members. But for now, though, we've made up... We needed a better slogan for you, Mike. We had a whole bunch of slogans and we've come up with a new one uh, and we've got little rosettes. Uh, there it is. Mic me up. <laughs> so we're going to put. Should we put them on now? Yeah, let's put them on. I think we should. Cool. Just, Are you all right with that? Well, I think it's going to be part three before I get on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Catch us on plus one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I reckon you'll have more success swimming the channel. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is Channel 4's next new show, Pin or Prick. <laughs> Both made of the goings on of this week. I can't get enough of it. Really? Honestly, I think it's so exciting. I didn't really know about Mike the cameraman, and I'm so desperate for there to be another candidate that I may be on the turn for Mike. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> <laughs> Literally, Mike and I may get moist. That's how. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Since a whole bunch of rich, white, middle-aged men from the south of England are going to choose your next Prime Minister, we'd like to unveil our ad to convince them to vote for Mike, the cameraman. This is a message to the Tory members on behalf of the last leg. This is Michael. Michael is a visual entrepreneur. Michael has been a 57-year-old white man all his life. He reads what you read. He shops where you shop. His car looks like your car. So when the time comes to vote for a new Tory leader, don't spoil your ballot, improve it. Vote Michael. He'll focus on Britain. Go on, Tory members, do the right thing. Thanks for watching The Last Leg. My name's Adam Hill. See you next week for the next leg. Goodbye. Saw yeah, her afterwards. She was lovely. She's she, lovely. She's she great. She said, "Here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper." <laughs> Have you got that card? <laughs> <laughs> what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And she went, actually, can you sign this? <laughs>